Hello everyone, it's Jim from Small Time Outlaws once again, and this is the eighth video and tutorial series on beginning game programming in Monkey. Uh, this video is just a continuation of the last video dealing with the rays. You know, so we got a lot to cover. I'm going to jump right in it. So I go ahead and delete this stuff. We're we're going to start all over. We don't need any of that. Because the first thing I'm going to show you in this video is the array literal. So initializing an array with a for loop is great if you don't know ahead of time what the values you want, you want to store in that array. Because in the last video we did know we had 10, 12, 14, you know. The best way to initialize an array in that case is to actually do it all in one line with the array literal. So what we're going to do create another array called mon or called numbers just as before we're not going to specify a size we're going to leave that bracket as it is and then we're going to initialize it with a sequence of numbers inside brackets just like this so what this does is creates an array and it sets the size based on how many numbers you have inside your sequence here and then stores those numbers in order inside the array. And one thing you can also do is you can create an array of it and you can assign it the empty array literal which just sets it as an empty array. You can also do that to empty an array. So let's say after we're done using numbers I want to empty it out, put some new numbers in it just like that. It empties the array out. Yeah, I don't actually want to empty the array right now. So and that's the array literal. Now let's say you wanted to access just chunks of the array. You don't want to access the whole thing. You want to kind of split it up or make new arrays with half the, you know, half of the array into one array and then the other half in another array. You can do that pretty easily in Monkey. So I'll show you. We'll go ahead and uh, see. I can create that new array again. Didn't mean to do that. And. We're going to set new array to our numbers array and then in, inside the brackets you can specify a range using I guess you can call it the range operator which is two dots so in this first case what I'm going to do is say I wanted to get just the two leftmost values in the array which would be 10 and 12 in this case so the way you use this range operator is that before the operator you're going to want to put the index of the index that you want to start with in this case 0 because we want to start with 10 10 is the first cell it is and its index is 0 and you go up to the cell you want to stop at but not include in this case I want to go with 2 sorry not the cell but the index so this goes from 0 to 1 to 2 but it doesn't include 2 so this what this does is it creates a new array out of this numbers array of size 2 that is that includes just 10 and 12 and stores that in new array and so you can see that this works as I've described I'm gonna create a quick little for each in to just output the values of new array so the NA for new array it assign each in new array. I'm going to print an A and close it off. So now what we should see is 10, 12 printed out. Bam! 10, 12. Just, just like I said. Did you? Did you? Were you doubting me? What? I think you might have been doubting me there. All right. So now, now to switch it up a little, let's say you wanted to get the last two values of the array. But you don't know how you don't know how long the array is. So instead of having to put numbers dot length here, which you could do if you wanted to, but that's kind of to be honest, that's garbage. What you can do is just leave that part of the range operator blank and monkey will say, okay, that's blank. So that means I want to go all the way to the end of the array. And 
and alternatively you can also instead of putting zero you can leave that blank as well and do two and that'll tell monkey okay I want to start at the beginning of the array but you know I showed you zero just to kind of give you a better idea of what's going on so in this case we want to start at the third index third index three excuse me so that would be 16 and go to the end of the array so what should print out is 16 and 18 well, there it is, 16 and 18. Okay, that's great. We've got the we've got the beginning of the array, we've got the end of the array. What about the middle of the array? Well, I think you could probably figure this, figure this out for yourself, but so we want to get the middle three numbers. So we'll say 12, 14, 16. 12 is index one, so starting with index one, we're gonna want to go until 18, which is index one, two, three, four, five. Well, okay, zero, one, two, three, four, index four but not include it, so we put index four. So that'll give us these three. If you don't believe me, believe me. Okay, and finally, let's say you wanted to, now that you've got these three numbers, 12, 14, and 16 in this new array, let's say you wanna make it bigger and add some new numbers in it, you know, make it fresh, add some life to it. Now to resize the array, you're gonna set new array to new array dot resize. And let's, in this case we're going to make a 5 and then we're going to add a couple numbers to it. And so what this resize method does is it resizes the new array to whatever length you specify here, but it also creates a copy of what you had before and returns it to wherever you store it. You don't have to store it in the, the new array. You don't have to store it in itself. I can store it into numbers and it'll actually create an array, leave new array as it is. It's not going to actually resize the array. It's not, it won't actually resize new array in this instance. It's actually going to leave it as it is and return a resized array with new array's values in it, which I hope makes sense. So I'm going to change this back to new array. So we're just going to overwrite new array with this resized array. It gets returned by resize. And then we're going to add a couple numbers to it. We'll set array, or set a new array index three which is actually cell 4. We'll set it to 67 and new array 4 to 68. And so what we should have is 12, 4, 16, 67, 68 in this array. And there you have it. You are now the master of the array. So how does that feel? Does this feel pretty good? It's got to feel pretty good. So join me in the next video. I'm not sure what we're going to be covering, but uh, one thing I am sure of is going to be sweet. So send me an email at jim at smalltimeoutlaws.com if you want, or you can leave some comments below, or don't even you, don't even, you don't have to leave comments or anything, you don't even have to like my videos. I don't care if you like them. I don't care at all.